Qual è stata la sequenza più spericolata che avete girato? What was the most uh, dangerous wild scene you shot? Um, I, man, some of the stunts we do, or most of the things we do, have never been done before, uh, and we don't know how they're going to turn out. So there's probably three or four or five instances where it could go really bad. There's more than that, actually. There's a lot more. Bulls always seem to be pretty guaranteed. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, what, what was the most... Yeah, I don't know. Every day is, every day is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's dangerous every day. Beh, la maggior parte delle scene che giriamo non sono mai state girate, quindi è sempre un po' un'incognita. Ci sono 3, 4, 5, anche più scene che sono state a mio giudizio molto pericolose. Diciamo, se si può andare sul sicuro, col pericolo ci sono sempre i tori. Per me, personally, probably il uh, day I did The Invisible Man, uh, and I land, you know, the bull hits me and I land on the back of my neck. Uh, get a concussion and, and two hours later I roller skated in a buffalo herd and so I had those things just happen boom boom so I had a couple of drinks that night per me forse la scena più pericolosa è quando ho fatto la scena uomo invisibile che ho dipinto sullo sfondo mi ha colpito il toro che poi cascando ho battuto la testa con un trauma cranico e poi due ore dopo ero in mezzo a altri bufali che sui pattini che pattinavo in mezzo ai buco, insomma, there was a, una giornata dura. There was a third thing I wanted to do that day, but uh, Jeff wouldn't let me. He's like, you're done. Era un'altra, c'era una terza scena che volevo girare quel giorno, ma Jeff mi ha detto no, basta così per oggi. And what was it? Um, I'd get a big exercise ball and stand in front of a bull, and then the bull hit the ball and then sends me. But it was, I, <laughs> we man did it, and I was hoping, when I saw the exercise ball, like, I'm glad, I wanted it to be like a big one, yeah. like six foot, so the bull hits that and sends yeah. me way out, but uh, it was a little one, so I was like, okay, we man, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Volevamo prendere una palla di quelle da ginnastica grandi e mettersi dietro col toro che caricava col dirci. Però ripensando sarebbe stato meglio avere una di queste palle ginnastiche enormi, invece la palla è un po' piccola, quindi sarebbe stato meglio di una massa. Quindi non avevo suggerito per l'attore nano, per Women, ho detto fallo te. Ah, scusa. Sì, no, era per, era per il nano, più tutto, la palla è piccola. Uh, what's your... Insurance company. I mean, you, you must be a nightmare for your insurance company. Uh, no, you, you would think, uh, but they love us because they just make us pay so much money. Oh. Yeah, they don't care about us, they just care about our money. We have a problem with the security because they make us pay. I would like to ask you, a proposito di questo, loro quando fanno questi esercizi sembrano proprio così controlli asciolta, falsi scatenati, però ci vuole anche una grande preparazione, un grande mestiere per affrontare, penso, questi, questi pericoli, quindi qual è la loro preparazione, qual è anche la loro ispirazione e poi se hanno mai pensato di, di mettere anche una donna stuntman nel loro gruppo. When you do these stunts you they seem to be you make them look so easy, but it's probably there's probably plenty of hard work behind it, preparation and so on, so if that's the case. And we were possibly inspired by, and if you ever considered using a woman, for instance. Uh, Bam's, Bam's mom is a, is a woman, and we use her, but not for stunts. La madre di Bam è una donna, che è una donna, ma non la usiamo per gli stunts. We had a girl on the TV show that did a stunt, and she got hurt. <laughs> And we all felt awful. So after that, we're like, no girls doing stunts. It felt like our little sister got hurt. And we're like, that, that's, that's not right. Una volta su un episodio in TV abbiamo usato una donna, però si fece molto, molto male. Ci rimanemmo tutti malissimo. E da quella volta abbiamo detto, mai più tanto. And I guess there is a lot of work that goes into Jackass, but it doesn't feel that way. 
it's so much fun. Sì, c'è tanto lavoro dietro, però non, non lo senti perché è tutto molto divertente. Nerve wracking, but fun. Sì, ti mette a dura prova anche mentale, ma è divertente. Come avete capito da piccoli che volevate fare gli stuntman? The when, Devils. When did you realize you want to be the Devil stunts? When you were kids, what made you realize it? When did you uh, I don't think it was a realization. I think it just happened. Uh, uh there yeah there wasn't exactly a eureka moment <laughs> you always <laughs> yeah i got an idea i no nah, we i we were writing articles for a skateboarding magazine and and you both I mean, yes yeah. and for big brother skateboarding mag and they also did skateboard videos and that's how it started uh i was writing i was writing for different magazines but jackass kind of all started from Big Brother, Skateboarding Mag. Non c'è stata una folgorazione, stavo scrivendo articoli per questo Big Brother, una rivista sullo skateboarding, e poi girava anche video, e un po' partito da lì. There was, a, there was a lot of people in that kind of world that originally when we started filming on the show, like, that it wasn't a set cast, and, and, um, and just the people that kind of stuck around and, and came out to film kind of became the cast. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, there was other people that I would have expected to have been on more, but I just didn't, like, I, I never thought I'd be like a stuntman. But. You just had the truck. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know what I was going to do on the show. Like, and then we were there filming something and, and I just popped into it. Uh, Yeah. Uh, do you want to catch him up? Yeah. No, in quel mondo insomma, si, è, si viene coinvolti facilmente, io ero lì che portavo il furgone, non, non avrei mai pensato di, di diventare uno stunt, è successo. So, qual è stata la, 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 la vostra prima esperienza, cioè la, la, la prima cosa matta che avete fatto? What was your first uh, real ex stunt experience? Um, i, I guess, uh, self defense. Well, they, my mom said I would throw myself out of my crib at nine months old. My mom said that at nine months I would throw myself out of They would put me back in, leave the room, and then they'd hear, boom! They'd put me in, boom! Finally, they just didn't put me in the crib anymore. <laughs> What about you, Chris? Um, oh, I don't know. I, I, was a I was a skateboarder forever, and, and um, so I, it kind of lent itself to it. But um, so I guess you learn to, to fall and all that stuff. Skating. Very good skating. I didn't really realize it, but then I'd see other people do things and get really hurt, and I realized that's why a lot of us don't get hurt very often, because you learn to fall so well. But, um, yeah, so I mean, I did that my whole life, skateboarding, surfing. Fundamentalmente, I'm a skateboarder, I've always done skateboard, and you learn to fall when you do skateboard. And from there, the pass is brief, maybe others do well doing the stunt, but you know to fall when you do the experience of skateboard. How do you see now the image of the stunt, when many artists prefer all digital images, that are cut off, so it's a job that slowly goes away, even if someone, a artist, still prefers to do the scenes from live. How do you consider now the role of stunts in cinema, considering that many directors perhaps prefer to use digital technology? Is it a role that will die out? Um, well, our, our Jackass doesn't function like a regular movie. Uh, in, no, I think just people do it differently. You know, some do digital stunts, some use stuntmen, and dipshits like us just do it for real. Eh, ognuno fa a modo suo, no? C'è chi usa la tecnologia digitale, chi usa gli stuntmen. Noi che siamo stupidi lo, lo facciamo direttamente noi. Do you still have problem with uh, copycat accidents or...? No, no, not as, I haven't heard about one in a long time. Uh, I feel that by 
doing a, a movie and you have to be a certain age to get in has really uh, helped and hopefully us telling everyone don't try it has helped because we mean it. You know, we would rather get hurt. We don't want anyone else getting hurt. Um, so the other problems that we've had with certain ways of trying to limit ourselves, we're always trying to not try this kind of thing. Bless you. <laughs> what does it prove that it's so fascinating? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's funny. <laughs> smelly? It's funny. Smelly? Funny. Oh yeah, smelly, but it's, it's very funny. Anywhere you go in the world, you know, like, no matter what culture you're with, you know, people are going to laugh when someone farts. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate joke. It's very fascinating to far ridere. Anywhere you go, far ridere. When someone fa un peso, far ridere. It's a guarantee. È più difficile fare lo stuntman o l'attore? It's more difficult to be an actor or a stuntman? Uh, I don't know if difficult is the right word. Uh, maybe. Uh, stunts are, are, there's more at risk. But it, it's so fun that I, I minimize that in my head. <laughs> so it's difficult to say the word. Fare lo stuntman chiaramente è molto rischioso, però uh -huh. è talmente divertente che cerco di non pensarci. Ultima domanda. Come andresti a fare un stunt per Jackass? I mean, uh, you have already done a lot of extreme stuff, but how far would you still go? Uh, Dove ti spingeresti? A uh, uh, some, some points. Doing, doing Jackass, your life's on the line, and mm -hmm. so I guess you can't go much farther than that, <laughs> you know? In alcune scene di Jackass veramente mettiamo a rischio la vita, quindi non è che possiamo spingerci molto più oltre. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie.